I'm logged in as the domain administrator on a domain controller in a Windows Server 2022, as you can see in the lower right hand corner. What I want to do is I want to create a shared folder. So first I'm going to right click and choose to create the folder and I'll call this one shared just to keep it simple. And now I'm going to right click and choose properties. Now under the sharing tab, we have a simple share just called share and an advanced sharing. So I'll show you the simple one first. And we can see that by default, the administrator is going to have the read, write, owner rights in there. I like to use the advanced sharing because it gives you additional options. So I'll click on advanced sharing, click share this folder, and it's going to be the share name of shared, which it would have been if I chose the simple share as well. We can also limit the amount of users that connect to the share at once. By default, it's a very high amount, so you may want to change that. When we click on permissions, here's where things look a little different. So before it just said read, write, and owner. Now we've got full control, change, and read. But they mean the same thing. So full control is going to be the same as owner. And then change is going to be the same as read, write. And then read, of course, is just read only, which wasn't an option there. I'm going to remove the everyone group. But first, I'm going to click in add and type in domain users. And here's why you want to remove the everyone group from your share. And that is because if someone who doesn't have a login that just connects into your network, say into the Wi-Fi, or uh, maybe it's a vendor that plugs into your network, uh, they can, if, they're, if they have an infect, infected computer or, uh, you know, say they want to do some damage to you, they can encrypt all your files. So you want to make sure that the everyone group is removed and you replace it with an actual domain user that requires login. I'm going to give the domain users full access to this, and I'll show you why in just a second. So I'll click OK. I'll click OK. And now I want to click on Security. So the way that sharing permissions work when you're connected to this, say, from a Windows 10 computer that's joined to the domain, then uh, what happens is, is it does a combined permissions between the Sharing tab and the Security tab. So we know that the domain users have full control here, and under just plain old users, my domain users, which is basically the same thing, uh, that uh, also has some rights. And we see read and execute, list folder contents, and read. And it's special permissions at the bottom. So what this all means is that it combines the two permissions, sharing and security, and takes the most restrictive. So we can see we gave full access on the sharing tab, but that doesn't mean anything if we didn't give full access to the security tab. It takes the most restrictive. In this case, it's just the ones that you see here. So the users on the domain will not have the ability to write anything to these files. They can't add anything to them, but uh, they can read whatever files are in there. So if you don't like that, you can go in and click Edit, and you can give them additional rights if you'd like, modify for the ability to write, or full control if you want. I'm just going to take off full control. We also have the option to deny, which, by the way, overrides anything in the allow section. And click OK and close. Now I'm going to open up a new file explorer and just take a look and make sure our shared folder shows up when we type what's called the UNC path. So I'll put in backslash backslash. And the name of the server is just server, so that keeps it simple. Hit enter, and there's our shared folder. So that's the UNC path, Universal Naming Convention. So if I double click on shared, you can see that the UNC path now adds the shared to that path. I can also go in and create a file because I am the administrator. Now, if I didn't add that modify option, then users in the domain would not be able to add any files either because it would be the most restrictive. Another way we can create shared folders is to go into Server Manager and then click on File and Storage Access and then we click on Shares. And we end up going through basically the same thing, but there are a few additional options. So if I go to Tasks, New Share, we have many different options. Now NFS and NFS Advanced, those are for Linux, so I'm not going to worry about that. But uh, SMB, there's Quick, Advanced, and Applications. So quick is the one we're going to choose. Advanced gives you some additional options and applications is for things like Hyper-V. So I'll click on quick because that's going to be the most common. And now I need to choose a path. By default, it wants to share the entire C drive. We don't want that. So I'm going to click on type a custom path. And then I'm going to choose the C drive, create a new folder. I'll call this one shared one. Select the folder and click Next. 
I'll leave the defaults that you see there. And here are the additional options that you didn't see before. One of them is allow caching of the share. So you can see the offline users can download the contents of this thing. If you have very large files and small hard drives, that's just not a good idea. The other option is to enable access-based enumeration. Now this one I absolutely uh, recommend that you check. And that's because if the user doesn't have access to it in the sharing tab, then they won't see it. And this will keep a lot of the phone calls down to the IT group because people will see those shared folders if you don't check that box and they'll say hey why don't I have access to them I should have access to them so by checking that box they'll never even know it exists so they can't cause you any problems you can also choose to encrypt the data access if you'd like and uh, this is fine if you want to do that sometimes it does cause issues with certificates so you definitely want to know what you're doing before you check that box which we can talk about in upcoming videos here's where you set the permissions just like we did in the uh, permissions so the permissions tab is the same as the security tab so it's on the left this side and the share tab is on the right so you can go in and once again remove everyone and you can add in domain users click select a principal there we go give them whatever rights you want and you would do the same thing on the permission side which by default a everyone group is not there so click OK, click Next, and click Create. And that's done. Once again, let's just confirm that our file is there. We'll go up a level. And look at that. We now see the shared one shared folder is there. So there's a tutorial for you on creating shared folders and why you'd want to do it in a certain way in Windows Server 2022. And this also works in previous versions as well.